Hey everybody, this is Mike from the Pen Outpost. So it's been a couple weeks since I posted a video and there's a fairly good reason for that. I um, had a little accident at the shop and I fell and broke my wrist. So what you're seeing here is the um, brace that I was given today when I got my cast off. I had surgery uh, almost two weeks ago and uh, they put me in a cast and I couldn't do anything with the cast and now I have a brace on and uh, I figured I'd give it a try and see if I could make a make a video because it was nearly impossible to to move my hand and hold the paper and do all that stuff that's necessary to do this so uh, this is this is my attempt we'll see how it goes and we'll see how many I can get done um, over the coming days if, uh, if this works out well but um, probably won't be one a day for a while but I'll get as many out as I can but anyway so for this video, we are working with uh, an ink that uh, is one of my favorites by Noodlers, and I uh, haven't done it before. And it is an unusual ink in that some people call it difficult. Some people uh, don't like it for, re uh, it's, let me just show it to you. It is called, if you haven't heard of it, Kung Te Cheng. It is a beautiful, deep, saturated, uh, they call it technically a purple, but it is an indigo in my opinion. This is a bit challenging. You can see my fingers are still orange from the surgery from the betadine. That stuff is hard to get rid of. All right. So that's obviously going to take a minute or two to dry, so we'll give that a minute. But you can see how it, it, it wants to be a purple, and it's trying really hard to be a purple. But in my opinion, it's still a blue. Uh, it's just, it's right in that indigo uh color range that um, if you look at it how it starts to wash out towards the bottom you start to see that purple and you can see a tiny bit of that pink undertone in there that's making that purple but um, we'll let that dry uh, I don't think it does anything unusual up there in the heavy spots but we'll give it a few minutes and see um, see what happens uh, from what I understand it's a fairly fast dryer um, and when I've used it I've noticed that it's a fast dryer so we'll give that a second all right we'll be back Well, that's got a little bit more drying to do, but I think you'll be able to get the idea. I put it on really heavy in a couple of those spots, but just to give you a nice close up. Consistent color throughout the uh, throughout the long swab there. It's, um, I consider it a slightly wet ink. Um, others have said that it is not uh, wet. So there's a lot of conflicting information online about this particular ink. It, uh, it has a different formula than some of the other Noodler's inks. Um, if this dries on this nib, uh, I actually have to clean it off with a toothbrush as opposed to just rinsing it under water. So it, it has some, some things about it, some properties and some qualities about it that are different than other inks. And some people like it and some people don't. I haven't had any problems with it in my normal pens. I've had it in a Lamy Safari. I've had it in uh, a preppy. I've had it in uh, a Kaweco Sport and it has not given me any issues whatsoever, but it's a beautiful, deep, dark indigo and it is definitely uh, worth a look. Um, if you haven't used this ink or tried it before, you should give it a try. Noodlers, Kung Te Cheng. It's named after um, the 77th generation Confucius, uh, Confucius descendant um, that was, well, you can look them up. <laughs> Things available in a three milliliter sample and a three ounce bottle at the Pen Outpost on eBay and the penoutpost.com. Thanks for watching.